This is the G6 diesel locomotive in the grey-green factory livery. The light shunting and mainline locomotive is operated as class 650 at Deutsche Bahn. In this introduction, you will learn how to get the G6 ready to drive and master the most important operating steps of the drive and brake controls. Climb on board. First of all, we need to make sure that the main air pipe supply is on. Open the doors to the air system compartment and close the cutoff valve. This locomotive has two driver desks. Only one desk is active at any time. Actuate the desk to be used with one of the direction selection buttons. Note that the active desk and the currently selected direction of travel can only be changed when the locomotive is at a halt and all six operating levers are in the middle position. You can deactivate the desk by pressing the Active Direction Selection button again. This is required if you want to shut down the locomotive. This is not necessary if you want to change the desk. This locomotive has four different braking systems. The train brake, the direct brake, a spring loader brake and the hydrodynamic brake. All brake levers, as well as the power and brake handle, use a time control. The longer you remain in a position, the more the value changes until the maximum or minimum has been reached. In order to apply power and start driving, you have to move the power and brake handle to the foremost position and hold it there until the desired amount is reached. Then let go to hold the power at that level. is operated with the power and brake handle. It allows the fine control of brake amount and operates almost wear free. Now brake with the hydrodynamic brake. Pull the power and brake handle all the way back and hold it there until about 50% braking force is reached. Then let go. of the dynamic brake of the G6 is that it increases in braking force as speed decreases. Always keep this in mind during your run. Very good. Now drive to the specified location and use the dynamic brake again to stop the locomotive.
exchange the death to drive in your direction. Apply the direct brake and move all levers to the central position. Well done. Now couple to the wagons on siding 406. First contact the dispatcher and ask for clearance to enter. desk and drive to the specified location. Brake is used when moving more heavy trains. However, you can use also the dynamic brake until just right before the stop. Always pay attention to the train ride. The heavier the train, the less effective the dynamic brake is in the upper speed range. To brake with the train brake, move the brake lever back one step. The main air pipe will now be emptied over time. Then move the lever back to the holding position to maintain the applied braking force. Move the brake lever to brake and leave it there until the main air pipe pressure reaches about 4 bar. Then move it back to stop and wait until the train comes to a halt.
Very good. Now release the brakes again by moving the brake lever to release and leave it there. Then drive to the specified location. Wait a moment until the brakes are completely released. Before we uncouple the wagons, a word about safety. Always put on your hard hat when you work outside the driver's car. Now take it off briefly and put it back on. Think of this as an exercise. Well done. Safety at work is important. Therefore, never forget to use the hard hat. Now, Uncouple the wagons, please.
We have successfully completed this introduction. We have mastered the basics of operating this G6 locomotive.